What just happened in here a little while ago? You had some good performances between that last guy that looked like me and me. I can't tell you how... Huh? I didn't like him at all. But I like this guy. No, the truth is I, just didn't, I was not prepared for that guy. Um, when you go through a long time taking medication about every three, three and a half hours, and you go a long time uh, intentionally... Uh, Or intentionally keeping it away from yourself, uh, you realize, you know, maybe you're at a level you didn't know you were at. But thank God for modern medicine, right? At least in this instance, um, medication allows me to function again for the most part. Um, I've got to cheat again. I hate to do this, but I want to get it right. I tried to tie my medication so that I'd be at peak performance when I came out here. So I, I feel good. I think we've done that. So I'm wondering now, who's the real me? That guy? This guy? I don't even know anymore. It's two different guys to me. The truth is, they're both me. Um, I think we're all, we all are multifaceted. We have to learn to uncover what's inside of us. There's a lot there, more than more than we usually think if we really, really want to face up to it. I pretend to know what I don't know. And probably pretend to know, pretend to know when I know, pretend to be what I know I am not. I too easily give myself over to people, entities, objects that have no interest in my well-being, you know, casually shed the veneer. Like many, I'm good at masking, faking, dismissing my true desires and feelings. Increasingly, I feel less comfortable in today's standard fitting suit that society puts on us. Even when, even when I'm much more able-bodied, it's not easy to take off a shirt over several other shirts. <laughs> and hold the mic. <laughs> all right. So we all are owned by certain things. We don't realize it. I'm glad it was almost worth the trouble I went to for that. <laughs> I think Russ asked me, you know, what's this thing about? How should I introduce you? I thought it was stepping out of your comfort zone. It changed a couple times along the way. But now, I don't know if it's about redemption. It's clearly I'm out of my comfort zone, but I don't know if I like it there. But you need to... <laughs> It's hard. It's hard to get out of your comfort zone until you find comfort in that comfort zone. It turns out what we're all seeking, I think, is comfort. But comfort's not, strangely, paradoxically, comfort's not in our comfort zone. We have to leave there to find comfort where it's uncomfortable. Then it becomes comfortable. I'm now embracing my distinct qualities. Outcast, misfit, freak status, whatever. Puts us in company with just about every significant scientist, entrepreneur, um, great hero that any of us ever had. Whoever your hero may be, that person's likely to use his unconventional traits to transform lives. You can either recast your present state to fit in this prototype, 
or you can maximize your present shape to be extraordinary. The walls between us may protect our fragile characters, but walls also prohibit exchange, exploration, empathy. The walls often define our comfort zones. The zones are suffocating. We're simply part of nature. We'll only grow in proportion to our fishbowl. You want to expand? Get a bigger fishbowl. You want knowledge? Explore the unknown. Comfort is pleasing. We all need comfort. But don't think that comfort can be necessarily confined or even defined. Without pain, dissatisfaction, disappointment, we'd be unable to process empathy, gratitude, rejoicement. No emotion, good or bad, is permanent. When the cycle's peaking, simply enjoy the moment. When the cycle... <sighs> yeah, that moment. I just screwed it up. Enjoy that moment. I drove in here today through suburbia, the heart of suburbia. It's beautiful skies, clouds rolling in. I drive by and there's a half a dozen alpacas right here across the street. <laughs> That's a moment. That's a moment. Don't let that pass you by. It's beautiful. It's unexpected. It's, it's a small thing sometimes. I'm no longer a match for life's treadmill. It ejected me. Turns out life is actually lived off the treadmill in places like this. You know what the closest thing I ever came to an adrenaline rush at my old job was? Having about three cups of coffee in the morning, holding my urine till about lunchtime if I could, in the hopes of getting just a bit of a pea shiver when you go to the urinal. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know, I, I, I don't know if I just made that up. I don't know if anyone else gets it. It's my adrenaline. All right. If I could do this and get a pea shiver at the same time, then I got some. This is good. I know. I'm what I am out of line. I'm I'm out of line on a lot of levels. The pleasures of life are in the here and now, with our inner, within our own realm. Not in the expectation of things to come. Not in the desire to be something you're not. The sweet spices of life, adrenaline, passion, vitality, they're almost always there when you're striving to reach a goal. Loving someone, chasing a dream, or just the sincere gratitude of spending a gorgeous day at the park with your family. Sometimes less is more, sometimes hard is good. Shinier, faster, newer, not always better. At least not for long, because shinier, faster, newer, better can always be endlessly erred. So many things are out of my control. One word is er, not like the others, own er. Term implies care, maintenance, investment, protection. I'm going to foreclose on those things that I should own. Ownership can be difficult, but what's difficult is what's valued, it's what's worthy. What's easy is what's disposable. Lives should not be a series of gimmicks, fads, providing immediate gratification. I now realize I have the power to define my life, not to be owned, to be the owner of me. To live the best, fullest life I can possibly achieve. Challenges for some are larger than for others payoffs will be just as that much better. It's like playing a game of 21. You double down, your risk is higher. Payoff is twice as nice sometimes. You are ultimately your life's signature accomplishment. The power to create, model, mold, enjoy, share. This sculpture of yours that is your life is beautiful. What's also marvelous about life and this sculpture, none of us know what that sculpture is even going to look like until we're done. 
Can't plan it. It happens organically. One thing you can control, you can not control how beautiful it is. Your own imagination, your own consideration, your own effort. Your sculpture can be as beautiful as you want it to be. I want to thank Russ for letting me come out here tonight. He took a huge risk in me. But this is what this place is about. Russ already knows these things I'm talking about. Y'all all probably know these things I'm talking about. The people outside here I should be talking to. Um, Russ's commitment, passion for this place allows things like this to happen. You don't know what you're going to see on any given night, but there's a guy following his dreams. You're helping us build our sculptures. Almost. One last thing. I appreciate that. All, everyone, someone comes up here, they're tacking onto their sculpture in their life. Just watching someone else maybe is building your sculpture. Thank you so much, Russ. You're one badass fucking clown. <laughs>